What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabaret games from tabletop to video games and today we have another Go Format match review here and it's none other than Dust Wombat vs Gravekeeper. Now I have to say that I think Dust Wombat is probably the best burn deck for Ghost Format. Not only is it decently fast paced for the burn damage, especially with Dark Snake Syndrome, but it's actually really good if you're against like semi mirror matches, like any burn deck as well. You feel really well and protected as well. And honestly, I had a lot of success with uh, Dust Wombat, like at actual local event when I used to do a lot of gold tournaments. So definitely looking forward to see how this match uh, ends. Now before we begin, friendly reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and I do really appreciate it. So sadly we are going to be going second, but it's okay. It is what it is. So what we have is Dust Wombat, Grateful Charity, Secret Barrel, Poison of the Old Man, and Wave Motion Cannon. Our opponent has Terraforming. A Sakuretsu armor, Mystical Space Typhoon, a one man cross out, and another Sakuretsu armor. So they draw into Gravekeeper Spy. They're going to go and activate the Terraforming to get that Necro Valley. So, very strong hand that they actually start with. So they're going to go Necro Valley, set the Sakuretsu, and then pass. We're going to go off the bat with Normal Summoning a Dust Wombat, see if our opponent has any response towards it. Because if they do, then we might change what we're going to discard for Graceful Charity. He doesn't, now we're going to activate Graceful Charity. So we're going to get rid of the Scapegoat and the Poison of the Old Man, since we already have one. And then we're going to go and activate all the three spells, and then pass. So they're going to flip Gravekeeper Spy, and they're going to go and Special Summon. I believe, what's his name? Yeah, Spear Shoulder, okay. So now they're going to go into Battle Phase. We are going to take a bit of damage, that's okay. We're going to activate a Secret Barrel to deal 14, 16. So that's going to be corrected. So there we go. So we're going to take some damage now, and yeah. After that, our opponent is going to set a Nobleman and a Mystical Space Typhoon. And we're going to draw, we're going to go and Activate the Dark Snake Syndrome and the Stamina Phase. So, if you're not familiar with Dark Snake Syndrome, very simple. On our Standby Phase, it's going to deal 200. And for every full Standby Phase, it always doubles. So, that means the next Standby Phase would be 400. After, it's 800, then 16, and then etc, etc. And that's why it's very, like, decently fast paced. Is that if you get this early on, it could accumulate quite a bit. Okay. So now we both lose 200, activate Poison of the Old Man to gain 1200 because we're not really trying to inflict damage at this moment. We're trying to survive. So if they summon another Gravekeeper, at least we will live. So we're going to set and they're going to go and chain the MST on the end phase. And then they get Gravekeeper Guard. Like I said, that's why we gain the additional 1200 just in case. Okay, so we're going to take all that amazing damage. So it's 15, 17, and 2,000. We're going to draw into Secret Barrel. Very nice. We're going to go Standby Phase, activate Dark Snake Syndrome. We're both going to lose 400 damage now. And then we're going to go and activate both our Wave Motion Cannon. Because if you notice, our opponent right now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards. And then when they draw, they're going to get that ninth card. So... That's going to make a secret barrel enough for game. So we're going to go and activate on the draw phase. And there we go. Now we're going to go into game two. Yeah, such an amazing deck. I love this Wombat. All right, so we have secret barrel, Ojama Trio. Now, Metamorphosis over here, that's actually sided. So don't main Metamorphosis. This is more that I sided with a few other level one cards to help fast pace a little bit. But it's really good with uh, the scapegoat as well. Just to, if I see that my opponent has like quite a bit of like backward removal, or if they're planning of siding for backward removal, like at least we have the Thousand Eyes Restrict that acts like a gravity bind pretty much. Then we have scapegoat, and then Dust Wombat again. Look at our boy, so cute. Our opponent has Spear, Grateful Charity, Nobleman, Cross Cell, Judgment, and another Spear. Okay, they're going to draw into Sanjan. Very nice. Activate Graceful, get Mystic Tomato, Tsukiyomi, and Guard. I'm going to discard the... Oh yeah, Sanjan, which I thought was kind of weird when looking in the hand. And Mystic Tomato, they're going to set the Guard. And then they're going to set the Judgment and the Noble, and then pass. 
Okay, so we drew into Dark Snake Syndrome. So good at this game. Alright, so we're a set. Both Trio and Secret go activate Dark Snake Syndrome. And then we're going to just pass after that. We don't mind taking that first 200. We just don't really want or Dust Wombat to leave the board just yet. So we'd rather our opponent wait some resources until we do so. So we're going to activate a German Trio after they set. So now they're stuck with all five zones occupied. And we draw into Wave Motion Cannon. Very nice. Dark Snake Syndrome is going to deal an additional damage. So we both take 200. Activate Wave Motion Cannon. Pass turn. He's going to go and flip Spy. Sadly, he doesn't have room. And we're going to activate Scapego on Attack Decoration. Not five. That would be a bit too broken. Okay, so we're going to draw Messenger of Peace. Not bad. If Necro Valley was face up on the field, that would be amazing. Okay, so we're going to now take 400. Okay. Rave Motion gets the counter. We're going to Gnome Summon Dust Wombat. And after that, we're just going to pass. There's no reason to extend even more. We're still holding on to a Secret Barrel for later on. Okay, so Guard is going to flip. Dust Wombat is going to go back into her hand. Okay, they're going to set, attack both the go tokens. Okay, and we're going to activate Secret Barrel now since they have quite a bit of cards. And I was kind of worried that they might activate something and then lose some cards, especially if they have like Judgment as well that would end the chain link off the back from there. So then they're going to be minus a few cards. So at least now we're going to activate the Secret Barrel, doing 2,400 damage. This is quite a bit. We draw into Mirror Force. Very nice. So Wave Motion and Duck Snake Syndrome. So we're going to put a counter on Wave Motion. It doesn't activate, but it's just, just as a reminder that how many standby phase has passed. Okay. So we're both going to lose 800 now. I believe. Yep. Yeah. So now we're activating Metamorphosis. Surprisingly, he does not activate the Solemn Judgment, okay? Because we're just leaving our uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict like that. We don't want to suck anything because we'd rather lock our opponent's board at the moment. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're sending Mirror Force. Passing turn, they have Terraforming. They're going to activate it. There we go. And then after that, they're going to pass. So now we're going to deal 1600 damage, okay? So there we go. And Rave Motion is at 3. So we're just going to activate Rave Motion Cannon for game. And you can also judgment the Rave Motion effect to send it to Grave. So off the bat, your opponent really cannot do anything uh, against this card. So surprisingly, we did not have to do anything. They should have actually Solemn Judgment. I know it's kind of risky because they didn't have that much life points. And it would have been half, but... You kind of have to take that specific risk, especially that you can't really just waste turns, especially with a live restriction or hoping to top deck something that would be useful, especially with a deck like that. Like if you have to prevent something right away, you have no choice, do it. At least it would be a better outcome than just leaving a card like this on the board when I have Wave Motion Cannon and Dark Snake Syndrome. And that's it for our match. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can always follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.